<clears throat> okay, so what you think is a really strong grip and in your fingers. You almost can't get it too strong. Okay, and then the whole concept here is we're going shut, which isn't shut. Actually, that club face relative to your swing arc is at a 90 degree angle. Then it goes up here, and then when it comes down, you're feeling this. Mm -hmm. You feel where your right hand is? Yes. And then when you hit it, you hit it, and your right hand goes this way. So take your hand off the club. Set up here. Here's what your right hand does. It's, it, go, it, it goes back like this. It goes up here. I'll start down. Slow. Okay. You feel that? Yes. That's where we got to get your right hand. Now, if you just keep going, and I let your fingers go, and you let your wrist just go. Relax your wrist. There you go. Just go with your hand. Go. That's what your swing should feel like. Go. You feel how it's yes. throwing? Go. And now just unwind your body as you throw. You see what your hand's doing? Yeah, because it points at the target. Well, plus go. go. What, your, what your arm isn't doing is it's not doing this. Not turning. You're throwing. Go. Yes. There you go. So, here we go. Put your left hand on there, which you think is really strong and in your fingers. You're going to feel like the face shuts going back so that your right palm's facing the ground or the club face. Yeah, there you go. Oops, I got it. I got it. Right palm faces the ground. Right palm faces the ground. Then you're coming right back to there and then feel like you're throwing. There's no twist. All right, so hit pretty solid, hooked a little bit. So what did you do a little of? Turn my hands. You've been doing it. How long have you been playing? Since I was six. Okay. So we've had a lot of this going on. Yes. And you got pretty damn good. But here's the problem. With all that face rotation, unless you're playing every single day and hitting a lot of balls, you're going to go out and play 10, 11, 12 holes like a scratch. You're going to play two or three holes like a 12 or 15. You're going to play two or three holes like a 25. Yes. And you're going, if I could just get rid of those two or three holes, the timings, you're going to hit it all. You're going to hit a couple that go like this every time you play. The, the good days is when that happens, it hits a tree and drops in play. And the bad days, it, it's out of bounds or in a lake. Do that again. So what you think is a really strong grip, three, not three or four knuckles, then all you're going to feel is your right hand faces the ground. You feel like the face shuts, and then it opens coming through. Shut to open. And all you got to do is start doing that and get a feel for how your hands work with it. Exactly. There you go. Come down. That's what you're doing. Now, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Okay. You played baseball? Yes. When you throw a ball, uh -huh. would it make any sense to take a ball, and if I was going to throw a ball, would it make any sense for me to take this back and go and twist my wrist like this no. and then try to twist my wrist that way? None. You'd go, why are you doing that? Well, I, I could ask the same question when you're doing this. Why are you doing all this twisting in your wrist? I learned to compensate. Well, and you learn toe up, hold the angle, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So whether you're shooting a basketball shooting a basketball, or throwing a baseball, or hitting a golf ball, your right hand's working like that. It's a throw yeah. more than it is a twist. Yes. You've learned to play weak grip, open the face, get your right here, and then try to time the twist. Yeah. Well, it won't take you long if this hand fixes, to, for this hand to start to feel that where you hit, and then it throws like this, and you've got a lot of speed with no face rotation. That's a nice combination. Okay, hit another one. What you think is really strong. You can't get it too strong. And when you take the club away, you're going to shut the face. Feel like you shut it and aim it at the ball and then open it coming through. And all of a sudden, and the ball starts going dead straight all the time. And you're going, I don't even feel like I'm doing anything with no. my hands. All right. Here's where these guys start talking quiet hands. Because they're not having to rotate and catch the face up, your hands feel like they're not doing much. They're still doing a lot. They're just not having to do this. 
See, that's made golf, is it, that's a way to play, but that's made golf so hard for most people to get consistent that all of that twist to time it absolutely perfectly and time all that face rotation to hit the ball correctly is really, really hard. That's why Trevino, Watson, Nicholas, all these guys talked about the face feel like the heel leads going back and the heel leads going through. And what's going to happen, the more we play golf now, you're going to see less and less of this stuff. Why? It's hard to time the face, plus when you're doing this and the face is going like that, what's happening while well, you're doing this? You're turning the face down, which is taking loft off the club. Right. Well, these guys now with these new balls, you want to hit it as high as you can hit it. So the last thing you want to do is have the face doing this, turning down. Because when the face is turning down, it's de-loft in the club. It's doing a lot of bad things. When you hit it like this and you hit it here and you go this way, well, you're, con you're using the loft and you're adding loft over here. So it's easy to hit the ball high. Hit it one more time. And then we're going to hit a couple of wedges because I want to help you with your wedges. It'll help your full swing. Strong grip, shut face, going back, open, coming through, shot to open. So it's taking you three or four balls to accommodate that grip. Yeah. It's not too hard. No, it's night and day. It's well, so simple. It's going to get easier and easier. And, and that especially if you start with your driver doing that slow speeds and you start to see how easy it is to control the face. Hit one more. I'm going to have to draw on my hands and gloves <laughs> every time I play, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. So just think, you got to see four knuckles on your left hand. It's in your fingers. And then your right hand faces the ground, faces the ground, and then it works under. So you're like, it almost feels like you're hitting a lob shot with your, see, these are going dead straight now. Yeah because the face now isn't rotating relative to the swing arc. It's rotating relative to your target line. Right. But it isn't rotating extra relative to your swing arc. So it's a lot easier to control the face. I can see Almost that. everybody, when I get their grip neutral for them, mm -hmm. so when the club pulls on your arm, it squares the face. And then we get your right hand doing what it's supposed to do. All of a sudden, they start standing here, and the ball's just going, I don't care if your backswing's good, bad. All of a sudden, the ball just starts going straight. Right. One more and then we'll get your wedge out and I'll show you how to make that thing work. Really strong. What you th give me uh, the strongest grip you ever possibly thought you could just really turn that left hand on. Oh, there you go. Now even shut the face more going back and then open it coming through. We're going to exaggerate the heck out of one. Shut to open. Now we cut the ground cut first. Ahead. Catch the ground first and it makes the face not work. Really strong, which is neutral. Shut the face to open. And you just do that until you find your feel in your hands for the shut to open that makes the ball go straight. Or if you want to curve it a little bit, you find that. But we've diminished the amount that your face is rotating by about 70, 80 degrees from here to here. A lot. Which is going to make it easier to play. You haven't lost any distance. In fact, right. you might gain some. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.